Hi, I'm Natalia from the Runners News Store in Horsham and I'm here to talk to you about the New Balance Women's Hiero V7 running shoe. On the upper, you have got a synthetic mesh. Um, this is really lovely and breathable as well as being really lightweight, so it's not gonna hinder you on your runs, you're hardly gonna feel it when you're out and about. In the midsole, you've also got New Balance's Fresh Foam X, which is what they use in a lot of their running shoes. This is lovely and plush and gives you a little bit more uh, impact resistance when you're out and about on your trails. The Vibram Mega Grip lugs work um, in opposite directions, so when you're going uphill, they're gonna work really well and keep you nice and grippy. And same as you said, going downhill, they're also gonna work really well when you hit with your heel. You'll see this tiny little tab on the back of your shoes, and we get a lot of questions about these. This, I initially thought was to give you a little bit more traction when you're going downhill. However, New Bounce has said it's actually part of the construction to avoid waste. This would actually just be an off cut, it means that there's a little bit less waste going to landfill and gives you again, a little bit more traction when you're out and about in your run. The weight of these shoes are 235 grams. They're lovely and lightweight. You've also got a heel drop of eight millimeters. So that's heel to toe. So good for heel striking, but also if you're going a little bit off piste, you've got a little bit of flexibility with that. This is ultimately a trail running shoe. So it's gonna be good for your slightly off piste runs. If this hits pavement lots, then these lugs will wear down. It's not really what they're designed for. So you just might not get the most out of your shoe. If you're using them to pound pavement, they're gonna do their best out and about in the hills. Also you'll find with trail shoes they're going to be neutral. If you put support in a trail shoe it might run the risk of having a bit of an injury. So we tend to have these being neutral shoes and even if you do overprint it a little bit, chances are it's not going to make much difference as you're going over rocky places, your feet are just going to be adapting to the terrain. We're currently doing this review when we've actually got some lovely sunshine and fingers crossed it stays. A shoe like this will be good for your kind of walking adventures, whether it be a little bit further afield. If you're looking for something a little bit lighter weight than a hiking boot or a walking shoe that sometimes can feel really heavy and clumpy, this is a nice lightweight alternative if you're not doing anything too intense. With the sizing of this shoe as well, I normally wear a size five in New Balance road running shoes. I found a size five in this a little bit tighter, so worth coming into store to try them. Or if you're ordering online, maybe worth going up a half size. If you're off on the trails, you're likely to be coming across some mud or some less forgiving terrain. What we would recommend in store to help keep the lovely look of these shoes um, as best as possible is getting an inbox done. That is a water repellency and stain relief coating that can go on. 